Hi everybody, Rob here from the Oyster House Boys and welcome to this tutorial on using Arturia's Pigments 2. Now what I'm going to do is show you some of the granular synthesis that's been added to the, the most recent version and I'm going to show you in the context of uh, this track here, Clement's Theme, um, which is from uh, my upcoming album and I'll just play the first four bars just so you can get a sense of what's there already. Um, and I'm going to try and fill this out with just a, a little bit of kind of spacey feeling, kind of breathy um, textural noises. So let's just play through. <laughs> So you get a feel for the, the sound of it, just so you can see what's going on here. I've got a, a few different synth pieces going on, a few lines there, uh, a little bit of percussion um, uh, broken up into various instruments. Uh, and then I've got some pads just to kind of add a bit of warmth and space. Um, but I'm going to use pigments here, like I say, to do a bit of ambience and just to add a little bit of texture uh, just in these first four measures, or at least that's what I'll cover here. OK, so I've got pigments in, a, in an effect slot there. So let's just open it up, um, and I have a, a, a default patch which is it's just a, a just a single analog wave. Now we're actually going to ignore the analog synthesis here entirely for this tutorial, and we're going to go straight through into sample. So I'm just going to click on analog. Where it says that, and we've got wavetable, analog, and sample. I'm going to go to sample, which will open up this window here, which is there's just a few kind of defaults. Um, some of the presets are quite cool, but you can load your own samples. Uh, I'm going to come in and I'm actually going to choose, let's go for, uh, I think, let's go for well, a granular friendly. Let's see what we can do with this. Um, and let's try hole breach. Now I'm just going to double click that to load the sample. Now bear in mind that when you load a sample, this is going to take the VCA's envelope here. So you're going to have a fairly sharp attack, um, not much in a way of decay and a pretty rapid release. Um, and the sustain will carry on for as long as you hold the key down. So I'll just play that. The key's still being held down here. So that's the full sample. And if I just tap a, a C, you can see it falls off pretty quick. But it will hold as long as I do. So let's start off. I'm going to leave the envelope like this for now. I just wanted to make it clear what's going on. So what can we do with granular? Well, granular will take a section of this sample. Um, so let's start off by choosing a section. I'm going to hold down again. Oh, there was a kind of a bit of resonance I liked around here. Let's... Yeah, around this section here. So let's bring that to about here. That's going to be our start point. Maybe just a little bit further in. Let's try that gap in the wave just there. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so at the moment, all I've done is uh, not really any granular at all. I've just chosen a start position, uh, which you can also see has changed here. So we can dial in an exact value if you want to. Now, turning on granular, it's a simple case of just clicking the power button there and you can see the controls go blue. The default is actually quite nice already. So you can see, you see lots of these white lines and some of them will go back maybe to the left of our, our scrubber there just a little bit um, and you can see we've got a number of these granules now playing and they're all playing based on this start position and uh, now we can change the density which is the kind of the amount of these granules we're going to get um, and we can add some here too so if we want a little bit more we can increase this i think for this particular noise we don't necessarily need this um, now we also have some different shapes here, some different wave shapes that we can use to almost see these as kind of like a, a, a mini envelope. So let's have a look what we've got. Uh, I'm going to go from triangle to, uh, I quite like the, the tukey or, or however you pronounce that. Which again, it's subtle change, it's a bit of a difference. Let's go for a sync. Now that's a little bit too clicky for my liking. Now if you like the overall tone that the, this gives you but you don't like the clickiness, we could always adjust the shape so we could soften that out. Or sharpen it up. Which gives it kind of a throatiness, which I quite like. Um, but I think 
overall we'll go back to triangle but I might just soften the shape. I'm going to go for there which is actually more like a shark tooth kind of thing. Okay so what we can do is we can have this is kind of like a, a randomization a, a, a amount so you can see at the moment if I hover over there it's going 100% forward so the samples or the granules of this sample will only be played from left to right so it's only playing forward if we back this off we could go all the way to play them backwards if we wanted which again with this kind of a tonality doesn't make too much difference but it just gives just that little bit of extra kind of something a bit of extra movement and interest so I'm going to go probably about 16% uh, and I think that will sound pretty good gives just a little bit of variation we can have some variation in pitch as well now that could be interesting in its own right especially if you start changing the rate um, and things like that but actually what I want to do is I want to introduce just some tone that will help make this maybe just a touch more melodic and I can do that in the modulator over here if I turn the volume up you get that kind of a drone I want a little bit of it and a sine wave is fine for this um, and we have a, a relative tune here and everything but I'm gonna leave them as default I just want to add that just slight bit of a kind of an audio note rather than just the, the noise like so In fact, that might be even a little bit too much. Let's just decrease that again. Okay. So we've got a, a, an idea of where the granules are, which direction they're going, and how big they are. So let's work out a bit of the time. So this is size time control. And here you can see how long they're going to last. So each granule at the moment doesn't last all that long, but we can increase that. Let's whack it right up to full. And you can hear that's really uh, quite dense because it's an additive process. So every time you, you add a new granule playing, especially for this length of time, uh, you're going to have more density. What's also interesting is that the, the start position appears, and I might be wrong here, but it appears to be starting from the current playing one, which is why you get some starting over here, even though the, um, the start position is here. So this is looking pretty good and I like it. I like the fact that there's some kind of density, there's some interest, but it's lacking in overall shape. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to adjust the envelope here. So I'm going to bring out sustain. Uh, so the um, I am going to bring out sustain a little bit, um, the decay to there, and I'm going to increase the attack. And you can do this either with the controls at the bottom where you can grab those handles. Okay, so I think the release is possibly a bit too long. just a little bit oh, I like that a lot that's a, a nice kind of pad sound it's not too abrupt at either end and um, but what I want to do is I'm gonna add just a little bit of phasing to this to give it some kind of stereo movement and just an extra level of interest so I'm gonna come over here to the effects tab um, and in bus A I'm going to add a phaser We'll just listen to the default. That's clearly a little bit too fast for this particular sound, I think. Let's dial back the rate. I'm also going to increase stereo width here. Now 
this has been controlled there's an LFO amount here um, and I'm just gonna probably class the LFO amount as being like a, a depth control let's look at the wave sine wave there I think sounds best. Sample and hold could be fun to play with but I won't get into that because that's a little bit more complex and we can deal with that in a later video maybe. Um, so I'm going to increase the, the wetness just a little bit. Okay that sounds pretty good. Now the last thing I'm going to do is add some reverb and I'll just pop one in there. Uh, and let's just play with some of the presets. Uh, I think a cathedral might be quite good here. I might have to adjust it a little bit, but let's try it and see what it sounds like. I'm going to increase the mix just a touch, not too much. Um, I'm going to also increase the size. I want this to be quite cavernous. And I'm going to bring back the decay just a bit. Okay, so I hope you're listening to this with headphones on because this is a really kind of wide, luscious kind of sound. I'm just going to turn up, go to the keyboard section here so you can see. Uh, just I'll do a, a one note. So all to do now is go back to the start of my track, and I'm already on that one live. So let's uh, let's just arm it for for recording. Uh, I will do just a, a little bit of counting. So I'm just going to just listen to that first bit again, but I'm pretty happy. Thanks everybody, I've been Rob and I'll see you in the next video.